welcome to Community Connection. I'm your host, Sarah Clark, and today with me I have Ken Opplinger, our new president and CEO of the Santa Barbara Region Chamber of Commerce. Welcome to the show, Ken. Thank you. So, first of all, welcome to Santa Barbara. Thank you. Um, I know that we've been looking to fill this position. It's a very important position in our community, so congratulations on the new role. And um, I know the community is really looking forward to getting to know you and, and see what the plans are for the chamber. So, uh, first I'd love for you to tell us a little bit about your history and, and where you're coming from. Sure. Well, I've uh, spent the last 10 years running the chamber in Bellingham, Washington in Whatcom County, which is right up on the Canadian border. Uh, it's actually a community that's very similar to Santa Barbara in a lot of ways. Uh, the, uh, the, the county is divided north-south with uh, sort of different uh, groups of folks, different political philosophies. Uh, you have a city in Bellingham that has uh, roughly the same population as Santa Barbara, has a large university. Uh, so I've been able to sort of been work in a community that has a lot of those same issues and hopefully bring some of that experience to bear here. Uh, prior to that, I ran the chamber in Visalia, California, in the Central Valley for five years. Uh, and before that, I was the lobbyist for the chamber in uh, Fremont, California, in the Bay Area. So I got uh, some time in California, too, and it's very nice to be back. Absolutely. So, uh, well, welcome. Now, uh, the weather's great here most of the year, I can tell you that. Well, certainly much better than the <laughs> Pacific Northwest, that's true. Yes. <laughs> so I'd love to share with our viewers um, a little bit more about what the Chamber's role is in the community and, and what you see as the role and the vision for the Chamber in Santa Barbara moving forward. Sure. Well, you know, Chambers of Commerce really have five core things that we do. Uh, there's several things that this chamber has done well for many, many years. Uh, things like providing networking opportunities to businesses across the region, uh, promoting the community, and of course the chamber is the entity that uh, actually staffs the visitor center uh, down on the waterfront, and so we do a tremendous amount in working with folks once they're here in the community to find opportunities to uh, spend more money and stay longer here in the Santa Barbara region. Beyond that, though, I think you're going to see this chamber getting involved in some other areas that are really important for the business community and for the community as a whole. Uh, we're going to be getting involved in helping to ensure we have a strong local economy here in the Santa Barbara region. And that's going to mean working with chambers across the county to create a, a, a county-wide economic development entity. So we're working together for the benefit of everybody. Uh, we'll be working quite hard in really taking on our role as the advocates for the business community, speaking on their behalf with government at all levels. Um, you know, I've been telling people that to some extent you're going to see us become a policy shop where we're going to be taking a look at the issues that we're hearing, not necessarily just from the business community, from the, for the community as a whole, and finding ways to get solutions to those problems to benefit the whole community. So it's a wide range of things, but I think the easiest way to remember what a chamber does is that we're the voice of business. Uh, our job is to represent their interests here in the community. Uh, it's sort of like uh, you know professionals have their professional associations, uh, lots of employees have unions, small business has us and that's our job. Great, so um, being new to Santa Barbara what have you been doing to get out in the community and learn about our issues and companies and, and the people that make up Santa Barbara? Well I think you know this is uh, an area I've been told by a lot of folks where uh, if you want to get to, to get to know the community you need to get out and talk with folks and let them tell you about themselves and the businesses they have so when we made the announcement back in uh, in April that I'd be taking the job, I also announced that I would start up what I'm calling 100 Conversations with Santa Barbara. Uh, so I'm two months in, I'm at about Conversation 65 right now, so we're progressing well. But it's really getting out and talking with folks from a, a wide range of different backgrounds, not just business leaders here in the community, but housing advocates, uh, transportation advocates, uh, environmental community, making sure that I'm hearing from a broad cross-section of folks what it is that they think are the issues that we face so that we can take those internally at the chamber and begin to work on solutions that we think will benefit the business community. Wonderful. And what are some of the ways that you um, help with those issues? Do you have relationships with the, go the government? Do you form committees within the chamber with business leaders? I'm just curious what that looks like, for example, for somebody that is a small business owner or in the business community that may want to get involved or wonder what can the chamber really do for them? Sure. Well, I guess there are two things. You know, first of all, we have lots of ways for folks to get involved in the chamber. I think, you know, directly to your question, we have our Governmental Relations Council, which is chaired by Steve Americaner. 
Uh, it's a group that allows folks who really want to roll up their sleeves and do some work on the policy side to get together and make that happen. But I think the message we want to get across for the over you know 800, almost 900 members that we currently have and the folks we want to bring on board is, we run an organization where if you have the time to get involved, great, we've got ways for you to do that. But if you don't, there's a tremendous amount of benefit that we're still providing to folks, even if they don't have any time to really be involved in the chamber. Mm -hmm. And I think this advocacy piece is one of them. So you know, we, we'll do things like, you know, one of the big issues I'm hearing right now is the need to look at alternative transportation options for the you know, thousands, over 10,000 people who are commuting every day from the Oxnard Ventura area to work here in the Santa Barbara region. You know, with the work that we have going on on 101 and the years of construction we're going to have there, uh, looking at a, uh, a commuter rail option is something that really for a lot of people has become a necessity. And so we're, uh, we're already reaching out to our council of governments here in the county, uh, to Union Pacific, to you know, our counterparts down in Ventura and Oxnard, where this is important for them too, mm -hmm. to find ways we can build partnerships and make uh, some of these things happen, find these solutions. So I think you know, when it comes down to that policy side, that's what our job is going to be, is to really advance the interests of the business community and bring people together to try and find solutions to these things. Mm -hmm. Wonderful, and um, thank you for that explanation. I'm, I'm curious, what are some of the other core issues that you're hearing about and looking at in Santa Barbara? Sure, well, I think you know the number one issue by far that I'm hearing about, and of course I've experienced it myself just moving here, uh, is uh, affordable housing and workforce housing mm -hmm. issues. Uh, I don't think it's any surprise to anyone that as we talk with folks across the spectrum, either they've been directly affected by this or uh, you know, even if they've been in the community a long time, they've got employees, they have friends who have had a really hard time trying to find appropriate housing here in the region. Uh, but I think that the transportation piece really works hand in hand with this. Mm -hmm. So I think the message we want to get across to folks is that it's important to work to find solutions here locally. Uh, and we will always do that. But we'll never build our way out of this problem in Santa Barbara County. Uh, you know, even looking, um, or I should say the south part of the county, you know, mm -hmm. looking from Goleta to Carpinteria, there's no way that we can build enough housing to meet that need. So finding ways that we can bring people either from the North County or from the Ventura Oxnard area where you have more affordable housing and get them into this region to work as efficiently as possible, uh, that's gonna be important. So that affordable housing piece and the transportation piece really do sort of work together. And of course, the other big issue that I hear about a lot of retailers on State Street talk about the homelessness issue mm -hmm. uh, and the impacts that it has, not just on those of us who are shopping on State Street, but on a lot of visitors that come into the area. You know, I've been here two months. I've already received two completely unsolicited letters from visitors expressing their displeasure with incidents that occurred uh, on State Street. And so I think um, actively finding ways to address this are going to be really important to the business community and I think probably to the business to the community as a whole. So. You know, this isn't just let's move folks on someplace else. It's finding solutions that we can all come around and, and address the problem more directly. And we have so many wonderful nonprofit organizations that really work on these issues. So, um, how does the chamber help to, does it help to work on these issues with the government and with the different nonprofits that I know a lot of people are focused on these issues? What, how does the chamber come into that mix? Well, I think there's a couple ways. I mean, first of all, uh, it never hurts to bring the voice of the business community to the table, and I think we can help then carry that message out and get a lot of folks in the community who may not have been involved in these solutions mm -hmm. uh, to maybe participate more fully. Uh, and then also, you know, this community has a lot of nonprofits because it also has a lot of very generous people. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think helping get the business community's attention on issues can also help find resources to solving some of these problems that maybe will come from the private sector, and we can also help with that as well. Wonderful. So. What else in your, your short two months that you've been here have you, have you uh, seen that is especially unique about our community and that makes us special? Well, I mean, it's an absolutely gorgeous community, and the people who over the years have really worked to ensure that uh, through good planning, through design, that we have a community that is not only, uh, you know, uh, uh, an absolute uh, crown jewel when it comes to tourism, but really is, I mean, the, the aesthetics here are just gorgeous. Um, you know, this is all stuff that plays into the, the desirability to live here, the quality of life that we have. Um, I think I knew that coming in, but I don't think I really got a sense of it until I was here for these last couple of months and got to see it myself. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, making sure that we're helping to drive a strong local economy, but preserving this outstanding location that we have, I think is going to be, uh, is going to be very important to this organization, both now and into the future. Great. And tell me a little bit about what, um, what a small business may find with some of your networking opportunities. What do those events look like? Are they all at the chamber? Are they something a business can host? Um, for somebody thinking about getting involved, 
um, and wanting to meet other business owners and network, what do those opportunities look like? Sure, well, I mean, anything that we do at the Chamber, there's always going to be a networking component to it. So even if you are you know, getting involved in our Government Relations Council and our Ambassadors Group, we always find ways to ensure that businesses are networking. But we have two really specific events that I help, uh, that, you know, help bring businesses together. Uh, one of them is an after hours program. Uh, so once a month we get together at a different member business around the Santa Barbara region um, and, uh, and find ways to be able to uh, get folks to connect up either through you know, just socializing over cocktails or you know, as my staff and I are circulating around, if we hear a need that someone has, we'll make sure we introduce them to a business that can provide it. Uh, the other thing is, is that we have a great networking breakfast. Uh, we've just recently moved that to the Santa Barbara Club, uh, and we'll get 60 or 70 people every month to come out for breakfast in a really organized fashion where they can do a, uh, a little 20-second uh, elevator speech, if you will, about their business to everyone in the room and find out uh, maybe some new connections that they can make that'll help uh, them be profitable as well. So um, it's you know, through organized means and then a lot of uh, social uh, interaction that we try and find lots of ways for folks to be able to connect up. Uh, and uh, you can simply give us a call at the uh, chamber, uh, Scott Erickson, our membership person, would love to sit down and you know, specifically go through what your needs are and help tailor the membership to meet those for you. Wonderful. Well, it sounds like there's really something for everybody at the chamber. If you're um, involved in business in this community or you care about business and, and bringing people in, finding affordable housing, um, keeping the tourists coming back for more. Um, is there anything else that you'd like to share about why the community should uh, get involved in the chamber? What else that we haven't mentioned? Sure. Well, I mean, I think that uh, our role is to really, as I said, represent the interest of business, but I think the most important thing is that we also want to be a good member of this community. Uh, and so what we'll do is on any given issue, we're going to reach out and find partners that are of like mind to us. So, you know, as we're looking at economic development issues, we'll talk with organized labor about, you know, how that's important to them and ways we can partner together. Uh, when we talk about these transportation issues. We know that the environmental community here has been very strong supporters of commuter rail from the south. So we'll work with those folks. I mean, we're, we're going to be reaching out and making friends and, and finding partners on all these key issues that are important to us uh, because, uh, you know, this is, uh, I may be new, but this organization's been here a long time and we know that in order to get anything done, we need to be uh, partners and friends first. Wonderful. Well, I appreciate your energy and enthusiasm, and welcome to Santa Barbara. Thank I look you. forward to getting to know you and working with you on many, many of these issues that we, too, at Cox care about. So um, thanks for coming on the show. Well, thanks for the opportunity. I appreciate it. And thank you for watching Community Connection. We'll see you next time.